to do today again. Um, I have not finished it. Um, I found out the hard way that none of the information saves. So, since I got a new computer, I have to do it new again. Um, so, yeah, we're just... Obviously, I know what happens in the beginning, but again, I never finished it, so who knows where we're gonna go. Honestly, I don't remember what my options were, so uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. This isn't how it was supposed to go. I was doing fine with my part-time job all while trying to find something better. Well, maybe I wasn't as diligent as, of a worker as I could have been. But it was fine, and now it's not. Sometime last week my laptop broke. It was old and maybe not exactly the best, but I really liked it. And now I have to get it fixed, with money I need to pay my rent with. This is a nightmare, and I don't know if I can earn enough before the month is over. March 3rd, afternoon. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what it is you did, but you sure gave me a workout here. All the dust aside, there's barely anything there I didn't have to fix. It's been a while since I had the pleasure to fix such an ancient relic. So, does it work again? I kind of need that laptop. Yes, splendidly. Like it was freshly manufactured in 2006. It's not that old. Anyway, can I have it back, please? I can hardly spare the money, to be honest. Aw oh, man, sorry to hear that. Been there, done that got the everlasting fear that of using up to the buffer you leave on your bank account for good measure. Can't give you a discount though. I don't expect one. Good, you can call me Zen. What? Zen, my name. Why are you? You seem like a nice person. I always introduce myself to nice people. Don't you? Because you should always help people in need. Here, take this flyer. I'm not buying anything. You're not supposed to. It's a test program by one of our partner companies. You take part, write weekly reports, and get some money in return. Nothing to lose, really. And you get a hundred pounds, even, and he gets pounds, uh, without even doing all that much. A hundred, just like that. I'll take the flyer. Really? I mean, sure, take it. I'm not completely convinced, but a hundred pounds sounds good to me. And as long as I'm not testing some questionable medicine, don't worry, no suspicious substances involved. Just testing some software. Alright. Healthy, joy -li joyful living with the latest medical technology applied to our beta program. Oh, it's euros, my bad. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks for fixing my laptop. Sure thing. Thanks for your patronage. Come again if you have any more problems. Will do. Oh, look at the little bunny. Uh, finally home. Oh, look at the little cat. Finally home. I mean, I'm grateful that I, he fixed my computer, but man, that was tiring. Guess I'll check if everything works again. Oh, right, the flyer. Maybe I should apply for this program before I do anything else. Let's see. To take part of the test program, just follow the link up and fill in all the required information. As soon as one of our employees processes your application, you will get access to all necessary files. That sounds simple enough, but it's pretty vague. What exactly am I going to do? Who cares? Money is money. So what do they want here? First of all, my name, easy enough. Next up, pronouns. Uh, that's one. Alright, what's next? A photo. Really? What do they need my that for? Now then, which do I choose? This one. Pretty boy. Okay, and finally, romantic and sexual preferences intrusive much? Oh, whatever. Uh, let's get this over with. Uh, I like everyone. specify your sexual preference all the above I'm not sure why 
why they need to know this, but I guess I don't have a choice. The next one seems a little strange. Which of these clothing items do you prefer? Um, I don't remember this question. interest in our program we will reply to your application shortly our program I'm still not convinced that this is legit well there's a brief description of the responsibilities but it doesn't shine light on anything evaluate the performance of our software review its usefulness and adaptability give feedback on visual appearance and customization okay sure but what does the software do is it really that hard to give people some details Whatever, if I, if I really get the money, I don't really care. I won't know if it'll work out in, before next week, though. <sighs> I have my laptop, la laptop back, but this weekend could have gone, or could have started so much better. I'm 700 bucks short of what I need by the end of the month. That's basically my whole rent. Unless I work a little more than I normally do, my part-time job definitely won't cut it. I mean, the pay's alright, but still just a small bookstore. They won't have funds just because I pin pitch in more often every week. I can't help it. I won't be able to do anything about this before Monday, so I might as well try to relax this weekend. With the possibility of eviction looming over my head. Should I call my landlord? Maybe some other time. He's scary. <sighs> and the month has only just begun, too. That's actually a good thing, isn't it? I still kind of feel like going to bed and not getting up until uh, again until I'm dragged out by force. No, seriously, do something fun, please. This is going to be as stressful as it is. Now then, how do I spend the evening? Um, let's play some video games. Sound pretty good right now. My guild probably wonders where I've been anyway. I mean, I've been played daily for over a year now, but it's been a while since I took off a whole week. Granted, most of it wasn't intentional, but how should they know that? Titan Watch Online. A dystopian MMOR MMORPG about hunting, survival, and huge-ass monsters. That's how they're advertising it. Well, sort of. I'm paraphrasing. It's old, but there's still lots you can do. The devs are constantly putting out new content, and I'd say it's aged fairly well. At this point, there's a lot of side content, but I still prefer the actual core gameplay, which is combat with focus on hunting gigantic creatures. I've landed a pretty good spot in one of the better guilds, before it became popular even. It's not like I'm one of the pros, but you could say I'm experienced. Anyway, let's just get logged in. <laughs> Username. Welcome to Titan uh, Watch Online. Ah, uh, yes, this is nice. I think I need this right now. I mean, distracting myself maybe isn't the responsible thing to do, but who cares? Uh, I've entered the chat. Yo, look who's back from the dead. I missed you, man. Hey, guys. It's been lonely without you. X is unbearable with the when you're not around. Boy, speak for yourself. You've been all while. When will you be back? All week long. What? He's awesome. No homo. Sometimes I wonder why we're friends. <sighs> I see it's lively as ever. You have no idea. Tonight is actually pretty quiet, to be honest. That's because I'm here. No. So what's up tonight? You guys want to try one of the new Titan missions? Yes. No, sorry. Need to leave in a few. Aw, oh, man. Way to ruin the party. Uh... Here's us two dead. I've been waiting for this. Oh jeez, don't humor Suge. Yeah, well, what's, yeah, what's up with you today? You're not usually like this. You mean, like you? Hey, don't know. Not that I mind it, though. This week was weird. I'll make you feel better. I'm gonna leave now. Bye. 
see ya. May have left the chat. Alright, let's get back cracking. Let's get cracking, man. Sure, let's. Been up playing until after midnight. I enjoyed it. Suge is always fun to hang around. But I still couldn't really concentrate. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was running away. But maybe it was still better than contemplating all that without any distractions. I felt horrible after logging out though. Everything suddenly sank in at once. I practically have no money. Only a part time job. And I may as well not live at the next. And I may as well not have a place to live at anymore in a few weeks. What, Mayo? What? Sorry, but I don't want to play right now, bud. Alright, why is this... Why does it have to be like this? March 4th, noon. Guess it doesn't matter what. When I go to bed, I still wake up around this time. Yesterday was weird. I think I overreacted. Well, the situation wasn't great, but that's no reason to fall into an external crisis just like that. I have to think about how I want to handle this. I'm working at my part-time job two times a week, including last Thursday. That's nine times total until the end of the month. With my hourly wage and the hours I'm working, that's roughly 540. Damn it, how did I, how did I ever make my, enough money in the first place? I'm pretty sure I'll be able to work more often, though. Still, I should look for a plan B, or at least a second source of income. I could finally finish up my portfolio. Actually, if I finish it, I won't land a job and get paid in just this one month. Don't go to art school, they said. You only end up working in coffee shops while trying to pay off your student loans. Oh, how I sneered at them. I wouldn't call it arrogance, but I still didn't want to believe their art isn't a real job attitude. I mean, all things considered, they're not correct. It's not a coffee shop and I'm not working there to pay off my loan, but I'm not working as an artist either. Maybe I should try again, but I don't want to take any risk in a situation like this, and how are my chances after not graduating anyway? Well, before I do anything else, I should probably get dressed and eat something. In the end, I was only stuck in front of my computer again. I ate a late breakfast while browsing social media until the updates decided. I didn't feel like as depressed as last night, but my motivation was basically non-existent. This feeling of wanting to do something but not having energy or creativity to actually do it. It's been all too prominent these last two years. That's pretty much the main reason I started working at the bookstore. I just didn't feel like I was able to achieve any of my dreams the way I was, so I wanted some time to figure things out. And time passed, but I didn't get closer to any answers. I still want to be an artist. And I know I won't just magically get better without putting in the work. But it's hard to keep motivate, moving without any encouragement. Still, it feels sad to think that I can't achieve my dream without others backing me up. Yes. What? in a mood today. I really should put some clothes on. As tempting as it is just to stay like this all day, I won't ever get into a different mindset if I might as well just have gotten out of bed. I mean, to be- What? Yes? I don't have any of your toys over here, bud. Yeah. Please, tell me all about it. Later. I mean, to be fair, that's basically what happened. But it's afternoon. I can't turn on full nocturnal again with work around the corner. Maybe I should try to find some ways to make money. Or I can make the most of the weekend while I last and play some games. Um, no. I think I, want, I read somewhere that taking time off was important. Maybe I can convince myself that this is the case here. I guess having some fun isn't too big of a deal. I can still look for work tomorrow. Well, let's log in now. I already forgot my password. 
I still haven't quite finished taking stock yet, so maybe I can get us now to help me. Well, good luck with that. Thanks, I'll be back in the back if you need anything. Alrighty. Monday mornings are usually pretty relaxed, so today shouldn't be too bad. Most of the time, there aren't e there's not even a customer in the first half. Ah, never mind. Welcome to Card Hover Books. How can I help you? Oh, I'm um, just looking around. Thanks. Alright, guess I'm just incom inconspicuously watching you stroll through the shop then. Actually, since you asked, do you have any books about animals? Sure, what do you need? I'm looking for a, pr a present for my niece, and she's really into reptiles right now. Ah, uh, yeah, we have a few about domestically held uh, reptiles and some more uh, academic books, if that would work. Which kinds of reptiles is she most interested in? Snakes, fruit, dragons, iguanas, frogs. Frogs or amphibians, though, aren't they? I believe those are, yeah, amphibians. No, no, I'm pretty sure they're reptiles. Okay. Why does it have to be, start with a difficult one already? How old is your niece? Seven. Okay, well, she's into frogs, I'd recommend. Uh, pet reptiles, do's and don'ts, pond dwellers. Uh, the, I would say pond dwellers, because pet reptiles isn't gonna have any frogs. Encyclopedia is probably too much for a seven-year-old. This one has lots of photos and illustrations of all kinds of creatures, so it's not just about frogs, but they take up a good portion of the book. Oh, this looks nice. It's also informative, I assume. Yes, probably not like an encyclopedia, but it covers a lot of basic knowledge. Alright, I'll take this one then. Good. That'll be $12.99 then. Thanks for your patronage. Please come again. Well, that was tiring. Good morning. Not time. No time for breaks, I guess. Ah, uh, good morning, Miss Pendergast. I see you're working again today. Yes, every Monday and Thursday. Although, I might be working a little more often this month. Oh, you are? Then I'll make sure to come around, too. No, wait, I still have to finish a book first. Well, you know where to find me. <laughs> Is there anything you can recommend today? I just finished that book I bought last week. Mm -hmm. Is there a certain genre you'd like to read? Something exciting, please. Let's see. Uh... Let's go with a mystery thriller. Your favorite crime author just released a new book. Seems to be a little darker than her previous works, but I believe you, but you'll like it. Oh, is that so? I'll definitely take that one then. Alright, is that all you want, or can I get you anything else? No, no, this will be fine. Just I'll just come again when I'm done with this one. Alright, that's $8.99 then. Here you go. And a little extra for free. Thanks. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to take tips. It's not a tip, just get yourself some ice cream on the way home. That's still a tip. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Vandergast. But I know she won't take it now. I should probably just give it to Miss Caracover then. Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> well, I guess I'll take my break now. The rest of the day was fairly uneventful. Well, it was still busy at times, but nothing out of the ordinary happened. Man, I'm tired. I mean, technically, it's not even that difficult of a job, but somehow it still wears you out. At least it seems like I can get some extra time at the bookstore. If I earn 60 pounds per extra a day, I might actually be able to make it. Except I already bought groceries for the week, so it still doesn't look right. Oh, right, it's Monday. Theoretically, I could have already gotten a reply from the test thingy, but I doubt. Okay, never mind, I actually answered it already. <laughs> Thank you for your application. After verifying your data and comparing his other cloud, we've decided to let you take part in our program. Please log into the site with the following credentials and install the provided files. Not only you never install dubious software from people you don't know, but this company seems to be real and more or less, or less trustworthy. Alright, apparently, get the money after my first report so I don't have a choice. Let's install this and wait. Why is it? No, 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 no. Self-installing software can't be good, right? <laughs> okay, everything is still running. There is no pop-up window asking me to pay extra money in exchange for my files. So maybe it was just a questionable design decision? I assure you, none of my design decisions are questionable. No. I do not like that. I don't like that at all. Huh. But, ooh. Nice to 
to meet you. I'm Joyce. I remember having a different person last time who is not as cute as this. Oh dear, it knows my name. Excuse me. A fully fledged person. Why are you inside my computer? Because you agreed to be part of my closed beta course, of course. You are the software I'm supposed to test. Oh god, that sounds so wrong. Oh well, yes, although I prefer to be called AI. So, are you actually an artificial intelligence or just a pro pro program pretending to be one? <laughs> I'm genuine. Although, sir? I will get to you in a second. Although, I do have a rather specific purpose. You don't say. What am I supposed to do? I don't sign up to babysit a virtual person. I'll have you know that I can very much take care of myself. And actually, I'm supposed to babysit you. What? Well, that might not have been the best way to say it. What I mean is that I'm here to take care of your needs and make sure you're feeling well. Make them use your virtual assistant. Is this really happening? So you, so you say, how am I supposed to imagine your work? here for you. Emotional support, well, the well thought out advice. I can even do online shopping for you. I'm not giving you my bank details if that's what you're after. I still have to earn your trust, huh? Well, I can assure you that you only have, that I only have your well-being in mind. Okay, but what's in it for you? If you're actually, uh, into, if you're actually intelligent, why would you be complacent just serving someone else? Hmm. Alright, so that's part's kind of hard-coded. Maybe I should tell you a little bit about how I came to be. My origin story of shorts, sorts. What has he been going on? You Alright, I'll listen. Great, I promise we'll get along wonderfully. 